Hey guys, this is Multi Tutorial, and I'm back with another how to tutorial. And for this tutorial, uh, by request, I'll be showing you how to configure the PCX X2 controls with uh, the keyboard and the mouse. Um, so I got two comments uh, requesting this. And so, there we go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just open up PCX X2, obviously. Uh, go to uh, hold on. Okay, go to config <laughs> controllers, plug in settings. Okay, just gonna okay. So, if you want to set up the buttons to your uh, keyboard, okay, just pick whichever button you want. Like, okay, for now, I'll just use the uh. Steep out here. So up, let's say up arrow key, and left, left arrow key, right, right arrow key, down, down arrow key. And I think you can set up the analog sticks to the mouse, maybe. Let me test it out. Yeah, uh, as I expected. If you want to, you have the controller, um, if you want to have the controller controls like as the mouse, then you can do that too. So let's see. Okay. So it's right, left, down. So just move your your mouse pointer in the direction you want it to. Uh, you want to assign that key to. So when I'm so when I uh, uh, chose up, I move the mouse up. When I chose left, I move the left, mouse left. When I chose right, I move the mouse right. When I chose down, I move it down you can do the same thing with the right analog stick but the only problem is you need like two mice for that and so instead I'll assign these keys to possibly W A um, uh, D and S okay and so as for the special keys uh, let's see start we have start here I guess we can put that as enter select space Okay, and for square, I could just assign these to numbers. So square could be one, triangle two. Uh, where is it? Okay, my bad. Looks like I accidentally moved the mouse. I guess a triangle is two, cross three. Oh, I did it again. Okay, cross three, and circle four. Okay. And so you can assign the rest of the buttons to whatever it is you like. But yeah, that's basically it. All you have to do is just press the keys on the keyboard or move your mouse or whatever particular device you need to use. So unlike the game controller, I would press the buttons. So in here, you also just press the buttons or move the mouse. And so yeah, it's as simple as that. And so, um, so when you're done, just go to general. And what you want to do is you want to select the pad you just you were just working on. So the to default there's two pads. And so I was working with pad two. And so I'm gonna to go to general and I'm gonna select uh pad two. Okay. And so I'm gonna to wanna to click uh, apply and then okay, and then so pad two should not be your default default pad. If however pad two doesn't work as your default pad to switch um okay. Uh, just oops. fake controllers. One second. So just switch what you had in pad two to pad one. I mean, in this case, I my pad one is already uh, occupied. So instead, I switched it with pad two. And so in that case, if you put it in pad one, just select uh, pad one and then click apply and then OK. OK. Yeah, I think it's probably better if you put it in uh, pad one instead. Since it's default. Um, okay. Okay. So then just click OK and you're done. Okay, and so I have also had complaints about my mouse not being too great. I mean, not my mouse, my microphone not being too great. And so um, my older brother. 
uh, bought a professional microphone for his tutorials too. Check him out. I'll put uh, like an annotation somewhere to the link to his channel. And so the credits to his, so I can uh, give credit to him for letting me lend his microphone, for lending me his microphone. I mean, and so yeah, check out his channel. He's got great videos. So this has been Multi Tutor Man signing out.